sculpt a single stamp using the imprint tool. So I'm going to come down with my sculpt tools and I'm going to select on imprint. And then I'm going to go over to my stamp tray and I'm going to select a particular um, stamp. And so I'm going to come over here and pick on this coral over here. Now, uh, at this point, I can go in and drag on my model. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to keep my left mouse button held down. I'm going to drag it out and I can rotate it. I can change the size. So I'll change the size to fit the top. I'll let go and it put one stamped image in there. I'm going to change it to a different type of a, uh, a stamp. I'll go with these uh, vertical bars here. Uh, so now I can just hold down and I can drag it out. I can rotate it so I can come along and I can bang and put in those bars. Now I'll do this one more time. Maybe I want to go the other direction. So I'll come in here and I'll pick, drag it out, make it, drag it out. My mouse to work just right here. My mouse is being a little finicky. There we go. Still my mouse is being a little, a little, a little hesitant here. Sure, why my mouse is having such a bad time, but here we go. So I get it lined up and I let go, and you can see now that I have some sculpted details on those horizontal lines. So an imprint, I come along and I can choose uh, how I want my stamped uh, to be handled, and so I can also come over here and view my stamp properties. Uh, so in here is where my stamp properties, I'm using the stamp, uh, these things here. Uh, this is probably a little more useful when I am doing a repeating stamp. So I'll come over here and do a sculpt and maybe I'll just pick on like this one right here. And now what I can do is I can just drag this across, right? And there's my, my stamp. So I want to come in here and say, okay, I'll change the offset or the stamp spacing. I'll change that. I can set that. So now I have my offset spacing. And up here, I can change, I can rotate my stamp clockwise, counterclockwise, however I want it. I can flip it if I want. And I can also flip it vertically if I like. So if that matters, I can go around and I can follow my mouse when this is highlighted or I could not follow it. So if I follow my mouse, I can come in here and put some stamps in here with my leaves, all right? So you can control more about how that stamp works especially in the repeating ones, by whether or not you want to spin it, flip it, etc. You can also randomize it. So when you randomize it, you can set how much randomization you have in each one of the rotation, the flipping, the vertical flipping, and you can uh, vary the, the size of the stroke as you go, and you can vary the intensity, the strength of the stroke. So if you want to get some real random, uh, you know, leaves, this is the way to do it. Otherwise, if you have the random off, they'll all be the same exact size, even though you can spin them around and flip them. So keep in mind, you can control that image spacing and sizing. So this is uh, uh, sculpting a single stamp with the imprint tool and viewing the stamp properties.